What's up guys, I hope you're great. Today, we're gonna be drawing a mushroom with the ink we made out of mushrooms. Okay, first step, we gotta go out and pick some of the mushrooms. All right, this is what they look like. I'm growing on this log, which is severed. See the little brown mushrooms. They've got white stems. They've got black gills underneath. Now there's no line on the middle of the stem. It's way down here low. See it? Where my thumb is. It's cold right now. It's just the beginning of spring. Still getting freezing temperatures. Okay, you can see what I did mostly was take the caps off because that's what you're going to be using to make the ink. Right, cinnamon? Is that what I was supposed to do? Right? Flour. Excuse me, I need your opinion. Half pint. You think that's right? Lucy. This is the scientific name for this mushroom. Okay, since you're not gonna be consuming this, the identification is not as vital. But an easy way is to get a spore print. This has a black spore print. All you do is you take the mushroom cap, you set it on a piece of paper, and let it sit for a couple hours all the way to 24. Obviously, the longer you let it sit, the darker the print's gonna be. Now these have a, a black spore print. All right, after you've collected your mushrooms, the only thing you have to do is take the caps and put them in a jar and give them a couple days to disintegrate. Okay, I tried to run it through this to clean out the big chunks, but there really aren't any big chunks. This is what we've got. And, uh, this is how it shows up. It's it's not it's not that great, but uh, not bad. We're gonna try to improve it though. charcoal here. Okay, you be the judge. I just added a little bit of charcoal to it. Now, I don't think it'll flow good through a pen that way, but with the brush, it works. It's a little bit darker. I don't know if it's actually worth all the trouble. You see how dark the ink caps get just by themselves. Okay, you can see right here, I wrote a sharpie for you to have a comparison. 
this is just the ink cap by itself. This is the ink cap with the charcoal. And then I added a little bit of olive oil to it to make it run a little smoother. And that's that. Now, this is uh, five days later. Let's see if this stuff's any good still. Doesn't smell too good. <laughs> That's one thing they said. There's a you can add essential oils to make it smell better. But look, it's still working. Actually, it's pretty nice. I'd hate to have to write a letter out, <laughs> but in a pinch, if you needed to tell someone something, and all you had available were those mushrooms, I'm sure you could make a brush out of, you know, some some grass or some pine needles or a feather, you know, you can leave your mark if you had to, or you can just do this like me for fun. These mushrooms were growing in my yard, I just identified them. Alright guys, that worked out better than I expected. If you guys have any questions, pop them down in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next one. Dun dun dun!